Have you ever been stuck trying to figure out why your view components aren't behaving as expected? It can be really confusing, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the world of view components with optional parameters and troubleshooting a common issue. I totally get how frustrating it is when your code doesn't work the way you expect it to. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges when working with view components, especially when it comes to method overloads. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, why am I getting an error when I declare two invoke async methods in my view component? They mentioned that they receive an error stating that the component must have exactly one public method named invoke async or invoke. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's happening here? When you declare two methods with the same name but different parameters, the framework gets confused. It expects only one method named invoke async or invoke. This is a common pitfall in ASP.NET Core development and understanding it is key to resolving the issue. And stick around. I have a great tip at the end that will help you avoid similar issues in the future. To address the user's issue with view components, we first need to understand the error message. The user is encountering a conflict because there are two methods named invoke async with different parameters. To resolve this, the user can define a single method with optional parameters. This allows for flexibility without causing method name conflicts. With this setup, the user can call the view component with or without the title parameter. If the title is not provided, it defaults to an empty string. However, it's important to note that if the user does not provide the title parameter, the method will not be invoked if the title is omitted in the call. In summary, the user can successfully use optional parameters in their view component by defining a single method. This approach meets the requirements without causing conflicts. Fun fact, did you know that the concept of optional parameters was introduced in c -sharp Fort No? It's a handy feature that can simplify your code when used correctly. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution proposed by another user involves creating an options container class. This class will hold your parameters, allowing you to pass them together. For example, you can define a class called My Component Options with properties for name and title. Here's the tip I promised. Always consider using default parameters when you want to simplify method overloads. This can save you a lot of headaches and make your code cleaner. And there you have it. You should now have a clearer understanding of how to work with optional parameters in view components. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips and remember to keep experimenting with your code.